Greetings Metal Community, it's Rogel back with another collection update. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice, still a little bit uh, half sick. Um, but I have too much stuff so I need to get something out of the inbox. Um, this is um, uh, Rotten Casket, featuring um, Mr. Fandrun on, on vocals. This is an international band. Um, I think there's some from Germany, a couple from... Um, yeah, Netherlands, of course. Um, also, the drawings here are of the band members. So you have um, Thundrun uh, there. Uh, really cool. And also, um, the uh, cross picture, a little bit into Entombed, I guess. Uh, very good album. Uh, it's a step up from the EP, um, which they came out two years ago or something. Um, and uh, as you may read on this, you know, thing here is really cool. It's a, it's a kind of a, um, of course, an homage to the Swedish HM2 pedal, but the thicker sound, uh, more the, um, yeah, entombed uh, edge of sanity sound with Fandrun on, on uh, vocals. Uh, very uh, filthy, dirty, horrible uh, lyrics. Uh, they are appalling. Uh, I'm not gonna read some of them because I'm probably gonna get, you know, monetized for that. But um, yeah, killer album with um, dirty, rotten, gory uh, lyrics. Um, some uh, melodic uh, leads or whatever you want to call it, uh, kind of ties them more up to the Swedish side. By the ground, ground riffs are more, I would say, um, Aztecs <laughs> related. But uh, yeah, uh, really good stuff. So if you haven't checked it out, um, Rotten Casket with, um, I mean, if you like Van Drun, you want to have this album. And we're gonna back to continue with old old bands with new releases, um, Suffocation, Hymns from the up, Apocrypha. Uh, yeah, I don't remember what number this is, 10th album or something like that. Um, really cool artwork this album uh, i was kind of uh, dreading a little bit because of the change of vocalist i'm i'm kind of i have problems with that i've said that before uh, there's the little sheets and there's uh, the big guy in the middle who runs the vocals but after like three or four um spins i'm I really um it is uh, brown and white it, it ties well into the cover so it's okay but um black would have been better <coughs> as i said it, it's kind of a um if you like me get over the vocals uh, this is a killer uh, suffocation album uh, very good um i think they have recorded it in their own studio do it yourself style uh, i love this cover and, and um it works out very well um, and uh, yeah if you like suffocation you, you will like this album just um, you know don't hold hold it against the vocalist that uh, you know Frank Mullen wouldn't uh, sing with them anymore he was tired of the scene I guess so um, but you get uh, a guest appearance uh, as always they have re recorded a um, uh, song from the Breeding, Breeding the Spawn album, uh, this time it's the Ignorant Deprivation. So I think they have re-recorded six of the songs on on, um, on that album. And they continue to put one song on each album. I, th I think only Souls to Deny is the only one that they haven't done a re-recorded -re song for, the, um, for an album. So um, they're kind of covering themselves and uh, they put the, it the, at the end of every album. So it's very cool. and. Uh, it's a good song and it, it fits really good in, in with the album. Um, Frank Mullen sings on it, but uh, his vo vocals are uh, untrained. Uh, as for now, he's really um, struggling a bit, but uh, it's it's cool. It's cool that they have invited him back and, and done a song. But yeah, it's it's a great great album from Suffocation. I really dig it. But it took me, of course, as I said, a couple of spins to get over it. But uh, it's, it's the well-known suffocation formula and uh, they don't overdo the technical stuff and uh, it's very well balanced um, and yeah it sounds great you have to turn up the volume a little bit to uh, to get the full power of it but uh, 
yeah, very, very happy with the new certification. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stick with six releases. I think this um, video, I don't think my voice will take anymore. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, this is the new uh, Ascendancy uh, EP uh, manifest to off impression. Imperious uh, Destiny, uh, Danish, um, kind of a bit blackened uh, uh, death metal of the more, I wouldn't say Covenant style, but they are more in the deeper and dirtier uh, layers of it as the cover uh, suggests they are. Uh, another killer release, I mean their previous EP came out two, I think two years ago, um, and that is also a uh, killer EP, so um, if you want to have some quality, dirty, um, you know, Danish death metal. Um, Ascendancy is one of the best ones. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't remember. Um, yeah, I don't remember. They play in other bands, but uh, yeah, slipped my mind. But uh, yeah, quality, another quality Ascendance uh, release. And we can take up some more old school stuff. Uh, I've been picking up the uh, reissued Dismember. This is uh, Dismember, Dismember. Uh, yeah, one, another one that I haven't had on a proper uh, format before. This comes in a okay looking marbled uh, vinyl. It's, this is not a bad type of vinyl it, it fits fits the colors of the cover uh, yeah I don't need to say more much about this member anyway so I just yeah if, if you haven't already noticed they are available on vinyl and um, uh, I got this for a a, a good deal uh, on dupl duplicate records they had like a moving sale so they were pretty cheap also picked up the uh, where iron crosses grow vinyl i do have this on cd but again <clears throat> when the price is right um, i think it's the same color color variant of it i don't know these albums as well of course as the early stuff but um this member has a pretty solid uh, discography they are kind of never um, strained far from their sound and, and continue to deliver good shit all the way through so um yeah there's some inner there with some uh, half half young dismember members and another uh, reissue how many uh, do i have now six with the playing background yeah picked also up this for a good price again it was the moving uh, uh, duplicate records had moving their stuff stuff around so they uh, kind of did sell out a lot of cool stuff for cheap uh, it's a uh, I do have a old CD version of this uh, so I, I really didn't initially want to pick it up on vinyl but I did when the price was right so uh, yeah they uh, the first side uh, 89 demo sounds really good uh, the 87 uh, demo is a little bit too rough in a way, but uh, it's cool to have anyway. And um, they have done a, a pretty cool job with this um, uh, Darkness Shell Rise, which was a um, used to be a only uh, tape, but I have uh, cranked out some really cool um, demo stuff on vinyl now as well. So, yeah, so yeah, that was everything for this video um i will try and shoot the video soon i do have a stack of vinyl and a stack of cds so as well and um yeah once again rotten caskets with fun on vocals if you want some old school um swedish sounding aesthetics music go and check it out uh thanks as always for watching and to all my new subscribers and uh the new guys of commented on my uh, channel as well i do appreciate you dropping some uh, words in the comment section and until next time be sure